Robbie, if you and Danielle can come up, because they're, we, we're going to offer it. Well, we're actually going to issue a commander's award to Danielle and then a Secretary of Army of Valor for Robbie. So let's go back to December 29th, 2016. Um, I was sitting in my uh, office talking to my DPM and saying, things are really slow around here. I think that I'm probably going to check out after lunch. Um, about five minutes after that, we received a phone call that we had an active shooter at the Lake of the Pines. And I said, are you kidding me? And he said, no, we actually have a real serious situation. So we immediately went into action. I contacted General Hill to let him know that we had an active shooter event going on at the Lake of the Pines. As we were getting blow by blow uh, commentary, we understood that Robbie had ste stepped up and de-escalated the situation. There was a guy came into the uh, lake office and he was complaining about the facilities and also about the possible closure of, of the lake where he wanted to fish that afternoon. He was extremely agitated, upset. We had two volunteers uh, there in the office along with Danielle and Robbie was in earshot of the entire conversation. So his, his training of over 30 years actually just kicked in and he knew that this guy was going to be more of a problem. When he left the office, he went out to go retrieve a weapon. The, Dan, unbeknown to Danielle or the other two, Robbie walked over to the door to take a look. And, and it, indeed, the guy came back with a 9 millimeter pistol. So before they could lock the door, he was already in there and on the two. Robbie quickly engaged him into a conversation began to de-escalate the situation, but he eventually got the guy to put the weapon down while Danielle called 911. We all do training, you know, fire drill training. Uh, we have, in the Army, we do battle drill trainings, but you never know what you're gonna do until that situation occurs, right? So our two volunteers, we went through this active shooting uh, drill quite often, and, you're, and we tell them what to do. So Robbie told them to get out and move. Well, they froze. Well, not, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't move, so I felt like I couldn't leave them there. With, I, I had no escape route, but I couldn't leave them there to face this guy, so I came back. Okay, well, I was, <laughs> that's good to know. You're taking some ownership and not just you're receiving all the glory. No. So he de-escalated the situation. Danielle... Uh, alerted the uh, 911 and they came in and they arrested the gentleman. Uh, they went out and checked his car and he had a, uh, additional weapons as well. But that could have been a really, really bad incident. So 30 years of, of, of engaging the public with your mind and convincing them and enforcing laws which you, you know, with your authorities only, no, no sidearm or anything, I think all of that kind of training helped you for this day. And we, we thank God so much that you were there to kind of de-escalate this thing because it really could have went south. We all went home with the, the original parts that we came with that day. <laughs> all right. Well, great. So we're here today to first, if you could step aside, Robbie, to award Danielle a, uh, normally I would present her a commander's award, but since we have our boss in here, I think it would be appropriate, sir, if you would do it. If you can step over here. <coughs> For her superior actions in the line of duty at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Operations Division, Piney Woods Region, Lake of the Pines Project Office during an incident with a disgruntled and armed member of the public on 29 December 2016. During this terrifying event, Ms. George showed great courage and professionalism in executing the proper response under armed threat by locking her door, alerting other staff, and calling 911. As a result of Ms. George's outstanding actions, Authorities quickly arrived to subdue the individual, no one was injured, and lives were potentially saved. Mrs. George's dedication to duty and commitment to excellence reflects great credit upon herself and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So Danielle, um, we're the Army Corps of Engineers. A lot of times you think of that means we're all soldiers, but in the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, what really makes uh, our organization so great is our great civilian workforce. And in the Army, we kind of have an unwritten rule that we never leave anyone behind, okay? And we all stay as a team. And no matter what happens, good or bad, we're going to stand together, whether that's the Fort Worth District or whether it's the team out there in that office. And that particular day, 
people could have done different things. People could have left, people could have left and gone and only worried about themselves. But the fact that you and Robbie really stepped up together and you made that critical call, when you could have been nervous as can be and just froze, um, we want to be able to recognize uh, you for your great service and just to continue to reinforce that um, when you have that urge to do the right thing, it's always right. And just continue to step up. And sometimes you might want to, you know, uh, do something different, but here you did exactly what we expect you as a great civilian to do, step up and take care of your team. Let's give Danielle a big round of applause. Thirty seconds. Say something to the team. <laughs> you know, I, I don't. I didn't expect to get anything like this. I just wanted to make sure we were safe, uh, and I would do it again. If, I just wanted to make sure we all were home. And I'm so happy for Robbie to, you know, not leave, and he went back for those. Make sure the volunteers were safe because they didn't know. So, I'm just happy for that. Great. is awarded the Secretary of the Army Award for Valor for his heroic actions on 29 December 2016 while assigned as a Natural Resource Specialist, Lake of the Pines Project Office, Fort Worth District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Mr. Henderson demonstrated great courage and professionalism in dealing with an armed threat and potential active shooter situation. When the gunman entered the office, Mr. Henderson diverted the gunman's attention from two volunteer personnel by engaging him in conversation and calmly convincing him to put down his weapon. As a result of his actions, the individual was arrested without injury and no one was harmed. His strength of character and calm resolve under intense pressure exemplify the Army values of selfless service and personal courage. Mr. Henderson's fearless dedication to duty is a great credit to him, the Corps of Engineers, and the Department of the Army. Rob, you have, on behalf of all of us, uh, there's a lot of people that have a lot of awards hanging on your walls, okay? Very, very few, if any, are signed by the Secretary of the Army. I know the Secretary of the Army, Ryan McCarthy, and this is a big deal that he took the time to do this. You know, I'm afraid that in these days, we think of a hero as maybe somebody on TV, somebody that scores a big touchdown or scores a bunch of basketball goals or somebody who's a movie star. And sometimes heroes are created in Hollywood, okay? Um, this hero is created in the Corps of Engineers. And this is a hero that doesn't sign up to do this normally, but you do what your nation needs you to do. And that particular day, again, you had a lot of choices. And without even thinking about it, if you thought about it, you probably would have said, well, this might not be a smart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately said, if I, had given, if I had been given more time to think about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it goes back to stepping up, and this individual, um, was at least uh, the demeanor and the method of how you talked him through this allowed him to have some options. And it wasn't where, you know, uh, I'm going to try to tackle you. It's just, you know, you got to think through what you have ahead. And I'm not sure exactly what you said, but you gave enough of an option to him to say, maybe he wants to continue to have some other choices in his life mm -hmm. and be able to save both the people on your team and in essence, be able to make sure that he was be able to come out of this without getting in a firefight somewhere. So I uh, can't thank you enough on behalf of the Secretary of the Army, everybody in the district here, and uh, just know that this is what we expect Corps of Engineer employees to do, uh, do the harder right, and to be able to make sure that when the challenges are there, that you step up and you tackle those challenges, and you do it in a manner which is befitting of not only a great Army civilian, but a great, uh, a great American and a great American hero. Let's give Robbie a big round of applause. Take the floor and make some comments here. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not really sure, you know, but uh, I, I knew I, in talking with this individual, I knew pretty quickly he was more he was disturbed and not just had complaints. I was trying to answer his complaints in a calm manner at first, and then I realized that that he was he definitely had some mental issues, and so I just. I just talked to him calmly, you know, agreed with him, and uh, tried to calm him down. And uh, he would go to the door and, like he was going to leave, and then he would come back, and this went on for 30 or 40 minutes. 
before he went and retrieved the weapon. And I, the only thing I knew to do when he came in the door was just ask him to put the gun down. I don't, don't carry a sidearm. I wasn't even armed with, didn't even have pepper spray on me at the time. So the best thing I could think of to do was try to talk him down off the ledge. And luckily he turned the gun over to me and told at the time it wasn't an operable weapon. So I knew there was not much danger of it other, other than him hitting somebody with it. But, uh, um, at that point, and I didn't know the 911 had been called at the time, but uh, but at least you know we we were able to calm him down, and so he was not you know, did not show any more aggression at that time. But of course, when he was arrested, he tried to be, tried to be aggressive again. But by that time, they hadn't subdued. So anyway, I'm just thankful that everybody was uh, nobody was hurt, and everybody was able to go home to their families that day. That was that was my main goal in, in trying to trying to. Uh, talk this individual now. So. Okay.